Hi everyone, this is Dr. Anurag Pandey from Sabinsa Corporation, VP Scientific Affairs. And today I will be talking to you about one of our brand product called Curcumin C3 Complex, its genesis, its research, and how this ingredient shaped the future of curcumin in this industry. When it comes to curcumin or turmeric, for example, for an average consumer, it is the yellow colored spice or the flavoring agent. But over the last couple of years, it has found a lot of interest in its health benefits. In fact, the folklore and traditional knowledge has been well documented, its health applications. And uh, today, it has been one of the uh, hot favorite in the uh, dietary supplement industry. But for curcumin, it has been a long journey since uh, its traditional use to one of the most clinically researched product in the uh, industry today. Millions of people put a lot of trust in curcumin in maintaining their health and uh, managing their health conditions. Uh, years of research into its chemistry, into its unique mechanism of action, uh, several clinicals around the globe form the basis of this trust. And for last 20 years, Sabinsa Corporation has been preserving and defending this trust for millions of its consumer for curcumin C3 complex. In fact, it will not be wrong to say that today curcumin C3 complex has become like a gain synonymy with curcumin itself. But start of uh, any uh, movement is never an easy task. When we first brought uh, curcumin C3 complex in the market, we found that there was no concept of standardization. And truly said, uh, in Ayurveda, in, in traditional knowledge system, there was no uh, uh, system of standardization at all. So two extracts would have two different level of ingredients or you know active constituents and two level, different level of activity altogether. So at that point of time, Savinsa started working with USP to generate what is now called as Kirkman monograph. This monograph provides the basic framework to standardize the curcumin in the dietary supplement industry. A team of scientists with, uh, al along with Dr. Mohammed Majid, the founder of Savinsa Corporation, uh, in very early times of its curcumin's research, were able to establish the optimum level of curcuminoids in curcumin C3 complex. Later on, the curcumin C3 complex was, uh, was patented for providing the maximum bioprotection through its uh, curcuminoid composition, that is 95% curcuminoid. In fact, very early in the research, uh, scientists at Sabinsa realized the importance of the three minor, comp the minor components like bis uh, bisdemethoxy and demethoxy curcumin in, uh, in, role, in their role in stabilizing the curcumin and to make it more soluble itself. When we first launched curcumin C3 complex, at that point of time, the curcumin had a strong uh, image of an antioxidant. In fact, uh, curcumin C3 complex itself had a very strong theoretical scavenging activity. But in the years to come, a uh, lot of research was done, clinical and functional research, on a uh, lot of other, uh, you know, which explored a lot of other activities than just the uh, curcumin's antioxidant activity. In fact, the science on curcumin greatly advanced with the emergence of uh, understanding on the role of inflammation in uh, development of chronic diseases. Uh, we know now that uh, inflammation is the root cause of uh, all the chronic diseases. Uh, while it is not itself an evil, but uh, uh, inflammation, if it, it's left over and it's allowed to you know, uh, continue, it can become a chronic disease. Hence, its resolution is of drop priority. A lot of studies were carried out with curcumin, uh, which were able to explore the various uh, mechanism by which curcumin exhibits its uh, anti-inflammatory activity. The studies using curcumin C3 complex were able to explore um, various pathways by which curcumin exhibits its anti-inflammatory activity against uh, various inflammatory mediators such as COX-2, uh, NF-kappa B, uh, TNF-alpha, the tumorous necrosis factor, and uh, INOS. One of the key uh, enzyme in uh, uh, inflammation is the COX enzyme, where the cyclooxygenase enzyme which uh, catalyzes the uh, conversion of arachidonic acid into prostaglandins. Now, COX-2 enzyme uh, is uh, inhibited by COX inhibitors, which are 
basically inhibiting the catalytic activity of the COX enzyme, whereas curcumin inhibits or uh, reduces the COX expression at the transcription level itself. Another, me uh, another important mediator is the INOS. Uh, the nitric oxide, the uh, inducive nitric oxide produced uh, by INOS can actually uh, 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 attach itself or react itself with the superoxide anion and uh, create uh, peroxynitrites. These peroxynitrites can cause the cellular damage. A curcumin C3 complex was studied to found and found that it can reduce the expression of INOS and it also can reduce the uh, nitric oxide uh, production. Uh, one of the most important transcriptional factors that regulate the genes uh, that uh, are involved in the development of uh, inflammatory molecules is an of kappa B. Uh, ubiquitous in all the uh, eukaryotic cell, in response to an external stimuli, this NF kappa B can dissociate from its inhibitor protein and then translocate into uh, from the cytosol into the nucleus, uh, attach itself to the genetic material, and uh, then express various inflammatory molecules. Uh, curcumin city complex was studied to, fi to find that it can inhibit the expression of NF kappa B and it's uh, created uh, other components or inflammatory molecules. Uh, another important mediator is the TNF alpha, which also can generate the uh, NF kappa B. And again, here we found that curcumin C3 complex research shows was able to reduce the expression of TNF alpha as well. Now, several of these key studies uh, were done on curcumin C3 complex, which paved the way for human, uh, future human clinical trials. Today, uh, curcumin C3 complex has a rich library of uh, clinical studies and scientific studies. Uh, we have 69 papers in uh, peer-reviewed journals, including 25 clinical studies, which, are, uh, which makes curcumin C3 complex the most clinically studied and scientifically validated uh, curcumin in the market today. Before I uh, uh, talk more on the clinical studies, uh, I'd like to mention here that curcumin C3 complex is, uh, is a dietary ingredient and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Uh, however, to explain certain uh, activities of curcumin or pathways of curcumin, uh, it's, uh, we have uh, discussed inflammatory and uh, cancer models in its uh, description. Unlike the selective uh, COX-2 uh, inhibitors, which, uh, cat uh, which catalytically uh, inhibit the COX-2 expression, uh, curcumin, on the other hand, is able to uh, inhibit the COX-2 uh, expression at the transcription level itself. In one of the key studies, uh, which was presented in American Association of Cancer Research, uh, curcumin's pain relieving activity was uh, discussed. In 2005, uh, Dr. Garcia and his team were able to find a uh, pharmacologically active level of curcuminoid in the human uh, colorectum tissue while doing a clinical study using curcumin C3 complex. And, in, while, and while doing this, he also measured the lowering of uh, COX-2 uh, enzyme. In other studies uh, done with curcumin C3 complex, we also found that uh, a curcumin C3 complex can reduce the or uh, can suppress the f uh, progression of uh, human cancer cell lines uh, by reducing the NF kappa B expression and also reducing the uh, uh, NF kappa B regulated gene products. In a very interesting uh, study on synergy of curcumin's anti inflammatory action and its uh, application in the field of temporary or occasional joint uh, pain management was studied in a formulation which was glucosamine free and in a bilayer formulation called nilitis. Uh, the results which were uh, which came out of the study showed in the very short duration there was improvement in most of the indices of uh, arthritis like Womac and VAS scales which, uh, which showed that curcumin's anti-inflammatory activity can be very useful in management of occasional joint pain. An area which has generated a lot of interest uh, uh, in recent times is the benefits of curcumin in Alzheimer's disease. 
And in this respect, in one of the first studies which was uh, done on Alzheimer's uh, 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 disease uh, subjects was done on curcumin C3 complex. In fact, um, a study done by Dr. Fiala from UCLA showed that curcumin may be a good and safe approach in immune clearance of amyloidosis in uh, uh, Alzheimer, uh, Alzheimer uh, disease subjects. Uh, in a later study done on curcumin C3 complex, Dr. Ringman uh, from UCLA again uh, showed that curcumin uh, C3 complex can be safe alternative uh, for management of Alzheimer's disease in geriatric patients. Now these are our preliminary studies and more detailed studies were uh, required. When it comes to uh, curcumin, one point uh, which we cannot ignore or circumnavigate is the question on the bioavailability and uh, which has been uh, greatly widely discussed and intensely debated nowadays. We, uh, to some extent, we all agree that, uh, uh, that bioavailability is an essential part uh, of a drug delivery system which if, uh, you know, affects the efficacy of the uh, product and determines the efficacy of the product. Today, bioavailability is not uh, just part of a drug delivery discussion, but it has become more of a marketing uh, platform for several uh, uh, curcumin brands which each labeling themselves as more bioavailable than the arrest. Uh, in fact, the uh, race among the uh, competitors have become so stiff that uh, claims of how many folds each uh, is more viable has reached to a shocking level where one may uh, wonder whether it is as good as taking an intravenous injection, which is of course not found to be safe in you know, a couple of studies. 100% uh, viability can be achieved by an intravenous injection, which in this case with curcumin uh, has been found to increase the or prolong the QNT waves in heart, upsetting the heart rhythm and causing a dangerous level of arrhythmia in an uh, animal study which was conducted some time back. So increasing the bioavailability to the nth level does not necessarily bring out the best out of curcumin also. More significantly, it was also found that despite uh, uh, you know, uh, all claims of uh, high bioavailability, uh, there have not been any uh, uh, clinical evidence which can prove that this increased bioavailability has led to any superior clinical uh, results. In fact, uh, uh, these so-called bioavailable curcumins uh, were able to reach the same endpoints uh, in the clinical studies which earlier studies have reached without any bioenhancement of curcumin. So certainly, uh, uh, bioavailability is not the only criteria in determining the efficacy. In fact, it will not be wrong to say that bioavailability can be a pathway, but it cannot be a destination. Looking back uh, over curcumin C3 complex, we see 20 years of research, uh, standardization, uh, innovation, and a lot of clinical studies, which this uh, industry has very religiously followed. To sum it up, um, if you're looking for curcumin, look no further.